It has now been two weeks since Derek Chauvin was found guilty of murdering George Floyd. Now a photo of one of the jurors wearing a BLM t-shirt could lay the groundwork for an appeal. The photo was taken last summer when juror Brandon Mitchell attended the March on Washington event commemorating the anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech. Mitchell says the photo was posted by his uncle and that he has no recollection of wearing or owning the shirt, which says on the front, get your knee off our necks. Criminal defense attorney Mark Iglarsh has been following the Chauvin case with us, and he joins us now. Mark, good to have you here. What's your reaction to this Thanks. story? First, I'm thinking as a defense lawyer, boy, did the defense blow it. I mean, having this guy as a witness is horrible. But having regrets about having a particular juror on the jury doesn't mean necessarily that this rises to the level of an appealable issue. So... You know, he, according to what I saw, he was asked, did you participate in marches or protests in Minneapolis, I believe? And he's right. saying, you right. know, I, I participated in this in D.C. and it had nothing to do with George Floyd, although that argument is weakened by the words on that T-shirt. Well, hold on. It depends upon what specific question was asked right. and what his answer was, right? So I think the defense screwed up by not asking a more general question. Mm -hmm. Have you been to any rallies or any protests or any gatherings? And then the follow-up question is, which ones and why? But the specific question, and this is why I don't think that there's going to be any disturbing of this conviction, I don't think the appeal is going to work, is did you participate in any protests about the use of force? So what does the word about mean? Right. His purpose, he's claiming, was for civil rights. I was there because it's the anniversary of Martin Luther King's famous speech. It was the 57th anniversary. That's why I was there. This wasn't about yeah. police brutality, even though the Floyds might have spoken at it. You see? Yeah. So it depends upon what about means. Yeah. What does about mean? No, it's good. It, that, that, is, that is the question. Here's Brandon Mitchell. He's the only active juror. There was an alternate who spoke to the press afterwards, but he's the only active juror who went on and talked to a TV show. This was um, CBS This Morning, I believe. Watch this. The pressure more so came from just being in the room and being under stress, um, but it wasn't pressure to come to a guilty verdict. We were just stressed about just the simple fact of, I mean, every day we had to come in and watch a black man die. Thoughts on that, Mark? Yeah. Well, that's his opinion, and that's normal, and that's okay, and there's no issue there. Clearly, had the defense known that he ever owned, wore any shirt that had Black Lives Matter on it, or more specifically, kneeing on the neck, I mean, get your knee off the neck, that clearly was not a good uh, juror for the defense to have. That said, I still do not think that they can prove that he lied. And absent any proof that he lied, him just being not a good juror, that's not going to be a reason for an appeal. Yeah, so that's the first bar to meet, you know, whether or not he, he lied when he answered the question. He also says he doesn't ever remember wearing that T-shirt or buying that T-shirt. And, you know, in this world of everything being faked in photos, I have to, you know, I, I have the question in my mind, you know, what right. if someone put that logo on that shirt, on that picture, given the high profile of this case? It's, it's possible. Ab absolutely. So, so that's, that's the key, Martha. What are the facts? What are the facts? And the defense can ask this judge for what they call a Schwartz hearing. We don't have that here, but in Minneapolis, apparently that's what it's called. And the judge then can call this guy in and question him and find out what he did, what he didn't do, what he knew. And theoretically, this could work to the defense's favor. I yeah. just don't think it's going to rise to the level of him being a liar. And that's what it's going to take. Always get a, good to get your input, Mark. Uh, we do remember that the judge wasn't happy about what Maxine Waters said about continuing to protest. So uh, we'll see what he thinks about this. Mark Iglarsh, thank you so much. Yes.